Hi everyone, it's Sandra, and I'm going to start a new series of videos uh, shortly, and I'm going to focus on worm science. You might ask me, what on earth is worm science? Well, for this, I'm going to dig back into my skills that I bring to the worm discussions, and the skills that I have is not only I'm a worm farmer, I'm a bit of a clumsy gardener because of my MS, I'm an accessibility advocate, as you know, but in a previous life, I also was a researcher. I taught at three Canadian universities. I designed and taught research methods, research ethics, statistics, and it's that part of my background that I'm going to mesh with my understanding of worm farming as somebody who does it just for my own recycling and garden purposes. I'm going to mesh the two and I'm going to look at worm research and I'm going to use my background in my knowledge and expertise in research methods and I'm going to dig into some of that worm research and I'm going to try to give you some takeaways, you know, interpret it, give you the limitations of the studies, the strengths of the studies, talk to generalizability, how it might apply to situations outside of the research parameters. And like I said, give you some takeaways. How might this help you as a worm farmer or just somebody interested in worms? All right, so watch for the series. The first one, I'll give a bit of a teaser. How do worms get huge? In fact, how do you make worms gigantic? All right, hope to see you there.